and gentlemen, it's 7 o'clock. Let me call to order the meeting of the Merrimack Planning Board for Tuesday, June 21, 2022. Let me remind everyone who will address the board to make sure the microphone's turned on and speak clearly into it so the folks at home can hear you. Please also uh, identify yourself for the record because the minutes are being taken from the recording and they need to be able to get your name off of that. Um, our next planning board meeting after tonight is scheduled for July 5, 2022 at 7 p.m. in the Matthew Thornton Room. Um, let's see, we will point our two alternates in for Paul and Neil. So everybody's in a voting position and we're a board of seven tonight. Um, let's see. I think that covered all of the opening uh, events. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Let's pledge allegiance. <laughs> Why don't we do that? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for that. And Please forgive me for getting that out of order. Um, Robert, is there anything for the Planning and Zoning Administrator's report? I have nothing tonight. Members of the board, do you have any questions for the staff? No? No. Okay. Uh, then that concludes the Planning and Zoning Administrator's report. That brings us to our consent agenda. I'll move as printed. Move to approve the consent agenda. Is there a second? Motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstaining? I like the way that worked. <laughs> Item number four on our agenda is Deborah Adamanchuk as the applicant and owner. Review for acceptance and consideration of final approval of a waiver of full site plan review to construct a 1,500 square foot residential building addition onto an existing mixed use building. The parcel is located at 4 Mound Court in the C2 General Commercial, Aquifer Conservation and Elderly Housing Overlay Districts, Tax Map 4D4, Lot 2, Case Planning Board 2022-26. Robert, is there anything that we need to know before we hear from the applicant? Uh, I, I feel like if I say this is going to confuse it more than it needs to be, but I have to. All right, so basically what you are dealing with is essentially just a residential addition onto an existing bakery. Uh, they received an administrative approval through our office several years ago for the bakery to locate there. Unbeknownst to staff, uh, and it's, it was discovered, I think, sometime last year, the office building use that was there prior had been converted into a mixed-use type building, which we didn't know. That violated the zoning ordinance. So the, we've been working with the applicant to get all that stuff brought up to code now. They've done that, got the variance for the mixed-use property. So now basically what they're here for is to allow uh, an additional residential unit on the site. So you'll have a total of two residential units in addition to the bakery. I didn't confuse things too badly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Welcome. Good to see you again, Deb. Nice to see you too. All right. All right. Yeah. Good evening, uh, Mr. Chairman. Matt Peterson here with Keach Norsham Associates. Uh, here representing the Bite Me Cupcake site plan expansion, expansion application in front of the board tonight. I would assume that she has lit up the world with her colors in the building, that you must all know where this building is. <laughs> uh, and her sweater matches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As does the car. Yeah. So obviously this is Daniel Webster Highway up in this location here. Uh, their location is, sits right in the middle here. Uh, we have the bank piece here, the Dartmouth-Hitchcock, and uh, Greeley Street that comes out this location here, and the common man up at the corner. Um, the parcel is four mounds court. Uh, it's tax map 4D-4, lot two. The existing conditions plan uh, outlines, uh, we did ask for a full site plan waiver, um, just not to have to go into the lighting, the landscaping, a lot of the little stuff that was there. This is a surveyed plan from our office. This is an engineered uh, building put on there as well, so that we made sure the setbacks and that all worked. So it's a pretty far along site plan. I just didn't want to go through all the I's and T's with uh, Robert, and that's why we requested that. We hope that you understand that. If not, we'd have to kind of make some changes and add a few extra things to the plan. Um, the parcel is about 26,915 square feet. It's 0.617 acres inside. We access from this point here, which is kind of a joint 
um, drive aisle all the way through the site, comes into our parking field that's here, walkways come up to the bakery, which is in the front corner here, and then this is the existing residential house currently uh, where they live with their daughter and their two grandchildren. Um, four? Oh, that's what's wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, that's, what that's why I have that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, that's where the gray hair um, came The from. site is sewered, um, is serviced by town water and town sewer. Um, that was a comment that staff didn't know last week. I was under, un, didn't know where it was either. We didn't pick up the sewer. We were going to put that on the plan. They had hired um, AB Septic to do little sketches for us back uh, a couple of years ago. So we're going to get this stuff on the plan so that Don is okay with it. Don actually asked that this be video, video cameraed. That was done last year. So we're hoping we still have the video from it that we can relay it to Don. And I think the sewer issue um, comes off the table with what staff had some concerns with beforehand. Um, basically what we're looking to do is about a 1,500 square foot addition. Um, it would have a three bay garage accessing here. We would be losing the three spaces basically that were right there and putting them inside the garage. Um, obviously her vehicles sit on site currently right now in those spaces that are there. Um, parking really is not an issue on this site. If you guys, I have huge gluten and dairy issues, so I've been to this cupcake before I met her as a client. Um, you know, the size of the bakery and stuff like that doesn't allow it to have 20 different people there. I mean, I think it works out very well with what they have. We also do have a joint use agreement that I will get to staff. It's the only copy that they brought with them tonight. But this allows them, if they had overflow parking, to park actually at the bank sp spaces as well. Um, the bank group does the plowing for them, uh, maintains some of the landscaping. So again, these guys have put this together in 2015 when they came forward. So they seem to have their ducks in a row um, with a lot of the stuff that they had put together on the site. It just came to their attention that it was not being used properly and that's why we had to get the variance for the dual use. Um, I think these people are kind of the perfect people to put in this location. Obviously, they've been here for a while. There was one comment from sewer that I need to give them the sewer calculations for what this addition will do to the capacity. However, that sewer capacity was added about a year ago because everybody's already living inside the house. They're just trying to get some more space for them inside the house right now. Um, that's the gist of the project. Um, here's just a, you know, like I said, we're just looking for the three bay garage on that side there. This would be the existing residence that's there. And then uh, the cupcake building is to the, to the far left. Um, and there's gonna be an apartment over the garage. The unit of the garage is for her daughter. And so you have your garage space on the first floor here the sunroom, which is connected to the house, so it's kind of their joint room to utilize. Kitchen, dining, living room, and then the second floor would be a master, a bedroom, and then just the walk-in closet with the washer-dryer type stuff there. Okay. Uh, board members, the first task is deciding whether the application is complete. What's the will of the board? Also moved. Is there a second? Second. second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining? 700. The applicants asked for a waiver of full site plan review, which certainly seems appropriate in this case, um, especially since we've gotten most of the information from Matt on his plan. What are your thoughts, board members? I would move to waive. I, I was going uh, <laughs> to make the motion, but go ahead. Go ahead, Brian. To, to uh, up waive the uh, waiver. Due full to site okay. full site review, due to uh, unnecessary hardship to the applicant. Okay, excellent. Nelson, second. I'll second that. Yeah. Further discussion. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining? Are there any abutters or interested citizens who wish to weigh in? Nobody's rushing to the podium. <laughs> okay. Uh, board members, just general discussion about the proposal. Questions of the applicant. I am. Yeah. Just a couple of questions. Um, I love your cupcakes. Thanks. Anyways, um, it looks like there were some notes here about a, a grease interceptor and a back water valve. Yep. Um, do you have those now? Yes. Okay. I thought you might. Yep. We do. Just making sure. 
and Let then me, me you're going. That. We have the grease trap. We don't have the backflow preventers yet. Okay. And that's something I was going to talk to. And where's that going to go then? That's kind of the question I had for Robert beforehand. Is that I know that the conditional. He had a bunch of them here for Don. I'd like to work it out with Don mm -hmm. um, once we camera it to see what she says on that. Uh, being a residential use and where the flow is staying the same as what it was yesterday today, I'm not sure we want to dig it up, but. I'm going to work with her on that. It would go between the tank and the house. Okay. Yeah, because I figured it had to be out there somewhere. But, and but what that would have helped because they actually had, this is why we knew she had, they had backup of sewer previously, and that's kind of right. what we knew. From so. Dartmouth Hitchcock. So Backflow preventer. Also, yeah. <laughs> on the plate, for where the existing house is now, going south into Dartmouth Hitchcock, what's there? Is that like a yard that's fenced yeah. in? Okay. Yeah, we like to extend the fence around the back of the new addition here and come down. So they'd have all, this would all be all fenced, fenced in right here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then my last question is, now you've got to put the NFPA 13, is it 13? Yeah. Sprinkler system in for the entire complex. And where will the guts for that be in we the don't control have panel? We don't have a sprinkler system for the entire complex. Um, because we don't have a, a cooktop or, or a grease okay. thing to cook. It uh, seems like they were <coughs> saying you needed to do that now. Yes, the fire department's requesting that as part of this. Am I correct? <laughs> yes. A, a sprinkler system through the whole house? Correct. We're going to have to go meet with them on that. Yep. Can we leave it to the final determination of the fire department? Yeah, because there only might because be some codes that I don't know about. There's some, you know, plumbing and gear uh -huh. and stuff that has to go into some space, and I didn't see it, so that's why I asked. Okay. Sorry about that. We'll we'll, we'll make the we'll make the phone call and see. There may be things we'll we'll okay. talk to them and work through. That. <laughs> that was when we didn't put a cooktop in, because we couldn't afford the sprinkler system. Let's go meet with them. Other comments or questions? Nelson? Yeah. Matt, I <clears throat> didn't see where your sewer hookup was when you held that up. I yep. couldn't see it from here. Um, how is the how is it sewered? Is it to the north of the buildings? Is this is a sketch I've got, so I'm going to send survey crew out to see what they can either chase down some clean outs. Okay, let me get but, Dorian. So here would be the bakery. This would be the main DW Highway bakery. Oh. Dartmouth. Oh, okay. Uh, the no, picture comes out the back. I'm sorry. Your picture went this way. Yeah. yeah. Here's the bakery. My bad. Here's the bakery. Yeah. The back of the building comes to here. Dartmouth is up to Greeley. Okay. It doesn't go the way it's shown on that other plan then. The other plan that you gave us had a. Uh, what? There wasn't anything shown, I thought, on that plan. Um, it was right there. Something I thought was the. Oh, yep, yep, I did show a sewer line right coming out right here. Nope, I'm going to modify that. You're right. Damn, So. Right again. Oh, no, that says gas. So, see, that's gas right there, and then that's water. Right, I hadn't sown any sewer, and that's why staff thought it was septic. Okay, it is sewered. It is sewered. The sewer line runs <coughs> off the site to the south. Let's go this way. Oh, right there. There's the tank covers. Okay. So see the plan up there? So here's the bakery. Yeah. Here's the tank. Two covers right there. Yeah. So it comes out the back here, and then it makes its way this way. Oh, there's a clean out right here at the corner. Here's the clean out. I did show a lot of this stuff. Okay. So there's the clean out, and then that makes its way this way. Okay, and then it goes to the north, you're saying? Uh, does it go to the south this way? I, I'm not sure if it goes south or north at this it's point. It's actually... Out. Goes in two different directions, <coughs> I think. No, they'd all be coming back. Can I see my plan back? <coughs> oh, this, yeah. Manhole to the road. Right. Yep. So here's your clean out. Mm -hmm. So it's coming from here, this way, and then that way. So it's going from the building here to the tanks here yeah. to the clean out here. Yeah. And then straight up to here that says manhole and road. So I'll find out where the manhole is up in here. It's in the park. 
Okay, is that in parking Greeley lot, Street yeah. or is that? Lot. No, that's. She be, says it's in the parking lot, the, so I'd say it's probably just in the road of the parking lot. I'm yeah, the, uh, is that a road or a driveway? That's a drive. It, it'd be a driveway, but they call yeah. it a road on the plan. Okay, yes, yeah, driveway. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, I was curious about that. That's got to be straightened out. Yep, I just got to show connecting lines to this tank here, um, and then to the clean out, and that'll be the sewer, and then we'll show the video on the plan. I mean, we'll show the video to staff. Other comments or questions? Uh, there was one other other thing I wanted to ask about, and that is the um, um, the uh, oh the, the driveway. There was a note somewhere in here that talked about getting an easement for the driveway with the neighbor because you're you really using your neighbor's property. For we access. just the note says roadway easement per book and page, so per two seven eight four three six one. <laughs> They've so got that access. So yep. you have it, it is existing. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Yep. It wasn't, wasn't clear to me. Yep. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Any other comments or questions by other members of the board? That's the will of the board with respect to final disposition of the application. Oh, Nelson, I'm sorry. Well, I'll, I'll make a motion to, to approve okay. with the conditions that they... Uh, Resolve the issues that we've discussed here with the sewer and with the uh, driveway. The driveway is okay, I guess. Well, the, the fire department issues need to be yeah. uh, If they're able to uh, address that directly yeah. with the yeah. fire department. Yeah. Though. Oh, that's noted in the staff memo, so that's fine. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Is there okay. a second for Nelson's second. motion? Motion and a second. Further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining? Seven zero zero. You're all set. Good luck with Thank the fire department much. and the yep. sprinklers. We'll go figure that Thank one out you. next. <laughs> Deb, if you want to come to the Fourth of July again, we're doing it this year. Fourth of July. The pancake breakfast. Oh, 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 oh! I can't stand as long as I could, Ben. Me either. <laughs> I, I wish I could. I wish I could. I've been trying to get my daughter to do more. We have seated positions. Yeah, that's I'm right. Best seated positions. Well, she too. used to make all the gluten-free pancakes. I over did the, the other the table waffles. on the other side. Um, but come visit us anyway, even if you yeah. don't get a chance to cook anything. Relax a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. There you go. Thank you all. Okay. Everybody um, can go home now. Huh? Agenda yeah. five is discussion and possible action regarding other items of concern. There are three things listed here. Uh, Rosenfeld Susi LLA update. I do have a letter in the pile of stuff here, but I've forgotten which is the Rosenfeld Susi project. Robert, can you shed light on that? Yes. So this was a lot line adjustment off of Dodier Court between 12 and 14 um, that was approved conditionally by the board, I want to say six months ago or so. Uh, sorry, maybe uh, maybe about a year ago, actually. Um, six months ago, they came in for an extension requesting a year because on that plan, when it was before the board, the survey plan showed yet another encroachment with a third party that a condition of approval was that the planning board had, or the applicant had to resolve that with the third party before they could get a final approval. So they requested a year to uh, continue to work that out, negotiate with the third party neighbor who wasn't involved and suddenly found themselves involved. Um, this letter is to serve that, per, oh, sorry, and a part of the condition on that extension was that the board wanted an update six months through. So that's what this is here to serve. And this letter is basically saying that they are continuing to work with the third party, seem to be nearing an agreement and should be hopefully presenting a lot line adjustment plan and a revised plan that will make all of the encroachments go away sometime in the near future. Do they need another extension from us? No, not at this time. They're still good for another six months. Okay. Could you, um, could you help me out where that is? I, I, where is? I forget where Dodie or Court is except for that's where yeah. Sal lives. <laughs> I did too. I remember Sal the Kennedy. name, but not. <laughs> It's off uh, behind, well, for their access. It's off of Blair Road, Whispering Pines Lane. Okay. No, no the area. <laughs> um, okay. 
that doesn't require any action for us, but it is an update item. Sounds good to me. Um, there's a note here that says our July 5th meeting has only one item on it, and it is the continuance of the Antignos site plan. Um, and it's prompting us to have a discussion of quorum and staffing for July 5. Um, Robert, are we permitted to continue that, vote to continue that now? No, we are not. It, is, it was publicly noticed as being that night, so unfortunately, I need to have four people volunteer themselves for five minutes to sit in this room, make a motion that night to continue it, um, and, and then adjourn the meeting. Um, all right, I'll leave it on the agenda for that, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know where what my plans are. So yeah. I know I'm here on the fourth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if you survive the fourth. Yeah. I wanted to get a trip down south somewhere in July, but it doesn't have to be on the fifth. Anyway, okay, so we'll have four. We'll have three in a phone call or something. We'll yeah. something. However, it needs to happen. We'll make um, it work. Yeah. Other had had they. If you, so if you remember from the last time around, they're required to amend the PUD portion of that project first before they go forward with the site plan. They unfortunately did not submit for the amendment to the PUD yet, so that triggers that this has to be continued. It cannot be heard that night yet. So therefore, with that being the only business, we're kind of stuck in this position. Fine with me. Um, okay. Um, are there any other discussion or items of concern by members of board? Then we're up to the approval of the minutes of June 7th, 2022. I move the approval as distributed. Is there a second? Second. Second. Uh, several seconds. Um, Robert, um, is approval of the minutes not appropriate for the consent agenda? Mm. It can go either way, but since it's oftentimes that the minutes end up having an approval, we felt it separate felt it okay to keep it separate just in case. That way you don't have to take a separate vote to remove it and then act on it separately. It's just easier. A lot of places part of the consent agenda, but whatever, what everybody likes about me. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining? Yes. One abstention. Six zero one for the minutes. That moves us dead. I'm sorry. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> <laughs> second, third, fourth, fifth. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining? Seven zero zero. We are adjourned. Thank you all very much. Don't forget to turn your microphones off.